I'm going to do is go ahead and hit our play button here. And yes, I want to continue up. And it's just going to resume our mission here. And away we go. So it's picking us up. Moving us over a path here. So you could just sit here in the cab and not have to press anything. You sit here in the cab and not do anything, yep. So once we're done with our headlands, we'll we'll jump out of the cab and let it do its pass to pass side of things. Um, we really want that to have been in here for the first pass even. You get it set up, you get your boundary set, and, and away you go. And so this is a demo you're doing here today. So how does that work? You just come to this customer and say, hey, we've got this new technology, are you interested? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, so we worked with Jason down here. He said we got this new technology. Um, working with Sabanto, we're looking to test it out, kind of proof of concept. Um, we know we've got a little bit of improvements over the winter, but for the most part, we're there. I mean, this is our second field we've been in. We've cut 120 acres so far. Um, excited to just keep plugging away. Now, hopefully, we can get some more after this and some more experience before winter, and and do a little bit more fine tuning. And so it's a Sabanto Autonomy Kit, right? So, so this right here is part of it. Yep. And then you have the antennas on top, or what, what does it all entail, the whole package? So the package is basically their ECU, um, the control box, uh, a couple sets of cameras up on the roof. Um, you've got LiDAR, radar, uh, cameras for any forward facing stuff. And then they're logged into the tractor's CAN bus network to basically do any of the controls similar to what your operator would be. You, you pull a switch, the tractor does this. Um, they're taking that and sending that message all and saying, hey, tractor, make this happen. And, and that's what's going on. And then so you'll, are you selling this right now or are you just, are you just testing it out and then you're gonna sell it? Or? No, this, this is available for market. Um, right now we can go to market with it. Uh, there's certain operations we're still polishing. Uh, this is really only the, the second time we've been out on a mowing situation. Um, Tillage is, is easy, that's no problem. You can buy it today. Um, mowing, we're, we're to that point, you can buy it today as well, right? So we're, we're there in the marketplace. Uh, there's lots of other opportunities to, to improve on, um, but the mowing and the tillage side of things, we're confident in that. And so who, who would you say is like the ideal customer for something like this? Um, typically, it, it varies really you know you could end up with your smaller operation where it's it's maybe a father-son operation on the farm and they they frankly don't have enough time to do all of the field work along with all of the tractor operations so maybe before morning chores they start a tractor up it does its thing after morning chores they move it to the next field and so on and so forth um, also on the other end of the spectrum you get your larger operations where they allow that that one key operator to be way more efficient with this job you know um, yes we've got labor shortages but now if you can take your most skilled operator and allow him to operate three four tractors you can increase his, his efficiency three four times so this is on a fit tractor here I know Sabanto, when they first started, they did the smaller Kubotas, right? So, Correct. So is this for, they can, you can do bigger size tractors now? Or? Correct, yep. So they, they've released it in all the Kubota M series, or all the Kubota tractors. Um, they've released it in the Fent 700 series, which is what we're currently in. Um, they're working on the infrastructure to go across the full operating system of the Fent, Fent tractors. Uh, the unique, unique thing with the Fent tractor is anywhere from our 100 horse tractors to our 500 horse tractors, they all run the same operating system. So the uniformity across all of them allows Sabato to jump on our 700 series and make minimal changes to move on up into the other series. Gotcha, gotcha. And then, you know, what would you say is uh, the process like to prepare your dealership for this new technology that's coming out like this and autonomy? I mean, what, what were some of the challenges or was it a pretty smooth transition to prepare everyone for it, this? It really is pretty smooth, right? When we look at our, our technicians in today's world, um, their understanding of the CAN networks and understanding of the electronics and what's going on and what's happening in the tractors is is a lot different than it was even say five years ago. The, these guys are really electronics experts. Um, the FET platform is extremely stable, so when they go into to utilize uh, the messages in the, the CAN bus, 
it's a very stable bus. Um, as far as the dealership goes, it's there is going to be a different sales process when we get to that point. Um, you know, as to what the salesman's mentality is and how do we sell this and what the use cases are. Um, but really, at the end of the day, you're buying a tractor and you're, you're buying an autonomous system. Uh, no different than in the late 90s when you bought a tractor and you bought a third party steering system. Well, now you're buying an operator. And then from the customer standpoint, you know, what do you think is the biggest, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, I don't know if obstacle is the right word, but you know, the, the biggest thing that maybe is standing in the customer's way uh, from more or more customers embracing, you know, autonomy technology like this. Personally, I think it's just seeing is bleeding, right? At the end of the day, if you can come out and see it and you trust it, when you're done watching 20 acres being cut, you actually get bored. You kind of go, okay, now what do I do? Well, you go back to the farm, you go do other chores, you go, you go take phone calls, so on and so forth. Um, it's the understanding from, from concept to visualization to, to saleability. And ultimately, there's been a lot of promises made in the, uh, the autonomous offerings. Very few have actually come to fruition. And, and Subanto has actually brought that to fruition, and that's what we love being partners with them is, this was literally on the phone with an engineer this morning going, hey, how do we do this? What, what happens here? Um, and that's just a learning curve on my end. So they're, they're fast moving, they're an agile company. They're, they're willing to, to put their money where their mouth is, per se. I mean, you personally, I saw you set this whole uh, plan up today, right? Correct, So yep. how long did it take for you to kind of learn how to work this system? So this is my second field. Oh, ever. wow. So, <laughs> so that gives you a little bit of an idea. Um, and that's kind of the, the a little bit of the unique thing, right? I mean, because we're on the dealer side, we're not cutting 40 fields in a, in a cutting, right? We're doing a demo here, we're doing a demo here. Um, but the user interface is really simple. So even though I have had minimal experience with it, it took five minutes to set it and away you go. Now, in a mowing application like we are, where we're cutting four to five times a year for, let's say four to five years, after that mission's created the first time, you'll just be able to hit repeat and that'll play back the same mission over and over and over. So then we're then we're literally just looking at the logistics of moving the tractor from field one to field two to so on and so forth. Yeah, and you mentioned, you know, seeing is believing. So how important are these demos where you're bringing it out and you're showing it to a customer? Oh, critical. I mean, it really is. You know, the they come to the farm shows, they talk to the people. I mean, even, even us at the farm show at WPS this, this previous year it was, Yep, we got this. We're gonna have it summer of 23. And we really challenged Savanto and they stepped up to the plate, bringing us a solution. You know, it's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to do it. And we're, we're doing it. You're, you're in it. We're yep. going. <laughs> I, I think that's all the questions I have. Anything else you want to add? Or? No, no, we're, we're really excited for the future. Um, we know there's a lot of unique use cases. Uh, we're looking at, at, at labor shortages. We're looking at uh, operator efficiencies. We, we all have a lot of really good people around us, whether it's on the farm side or whether it's at the equipment dealer side or even the manufacturer side. It's how to take their skill sets and really, really magnify them, exemplify them to allowing them to, to be more efficient.